Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing fuel lines on a 97 GMC Sierra 2500 with Lines to Go part number FL397-B for the front and FL400-WD for the rear. While this particular installation is on a 97 GMC Sierra 2500, this set of lines will also work on the following year, make and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made from G2 Galfan coated steel tubing for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors of the connections. Tools required are quarter inch, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and 15 millimeter sockets and ratchet, 5 sixteenths of an inch, 13 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and 19 millimeter wrenches, flat blade screwdriver, flat jaw and cutting pliers, drain pan, a floor jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting both batteries using a 5 16 of an inch wrench. Next, remove the engine cover using a 10 mm socket to remove the four bolts. Remove the plastic clips securing the wiring harness to the metal bracket at the rear of the engine. Disconnect the five electrical connectors located behind the metal bracket. Using a 15 mm socket, remove the two bolts securing the fuel filter and the metal bracket to the engine. Remove the metal bracket from the vehicle. Located behind the fuel filter, use a quarter inch socket to loosen the two clamps securing the fuel lines to the fuel filter and the return line. Remove the rubber lines from the connections. Located on the driver's side top left of the bell housing, remove the nut securing the fuel lines into position using a 13 mm socket or wrench. Using a pair of cutting pliers, cut both fuel lines in the flexible section located beside the transmission. Have a drain pan ready as any remaining fuel in the lines will be lost at this time. Using a flat screwdriver or pry bar, remove the two lines from the bracket located at the top of the transmission. Remove the front section of fuel lines from the vehicle. Using a flat blade screwdriver, loosen the two clamps at the fuel filler neck, securing the filler neck hose and the vent hose. Remove both hoses from the fuel filler neck. Support the fuel tank and, using a 15 mm socket, remove the bolt securing the rear fuel tank strap. Using a 15 mm socket, remove the nut securing the front fuel tank strap. Located on the outside of the driver's side frame, 
Use a 15mm socket to remove the four nuts securing the front fuel tank bracket. If your vehicle has running boards, you may need to use a wrench for some of these nuts. Remove the front fuel tank bracket from the vehicle. Start to lower the fuel tank, making sure to guide the fuel filler hose over the top of the frame rail. Once the tank is low enough to have access to the threaded fittings on the sending unit, disconnect them using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Disconnect the sending unit electrical connector. Continue to lower the fuel tank and set it aside. Using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench, disconnect the threaded fitting at the rear of the lift pump and also at the connection of the return line. Remove the rear fuel lines from the plastic brackets along the driver's side frame. Remove the rear fuel lines from the vehicle. Next, using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench, remove the front feed line from the lift pump. Remove the two front fuel lines from the plastic bracket located on the driver's side frame. Remove the remaining sections of fuel line from the vehicle. To prepare your new lines to go fuel lines for installation, start by connecting the braided sections of line to the rear fuel lines, noting the lines to go color coded connections. Make sure all connections are tight using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Next, install both rear sections of fuel lines into position, securing them into the plastic brackets located along the driver's side frame. Start the threaded fitting into the lift pump and tighten using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. For the front fuel lines, use a quarter inch socket or flat screwdriver to remove the clamps. Lay the new lines next to the old lines to make sure the rubber hoses are installed in the same position as you cannot access these clamps easily once installed in the vehicle. Remove the hoses from the old lines and install them onto the new lines to go fuel lines, securing them with the clamps. Remove the mounting bracket from the old lines and position it onto the new lines. Connect the flexible section of lines to the front lines using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Install the new front section of fuel lines into position, routing them between the transmission and the firewall. Connect the rubber hoses to the fuel filter and fuel outlet and tighten the clamps using a quarter inch socket. Using a 13 mm socket or wrench, tighten the nut securing the fuel lines at the top of the bell housing. Install the rear section of the front lines into position and start the threaded fittings into the return line and the lift pump. Using a pair of pliers, secure both lines into the plastic bracket. Tighten both connections using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench.
Connect the rear section of the front lines to the braided lines and tighten using a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Start to raise the fuel tank into position. Once the tank is high enough that the flexible fuel lines can reach the sending unit, connect the electrical connector on the sending unit. Start the threaded fittings from your new lines to go fuel lines onto the sending unit. Tighten with a 16mm and a 19mm wrench. Continue to raise the fuel tank into position, making sure to route the filler neck over the frame. Install the front fuel tank support into position and using a 15mm socket install the four nuts securing it into place. Tighten the rear fuel tank strap using a 15mm socket. Using a deep 15mm socket tighten the front fuel tank strap and remove the support from under the fuel tank. Connect the filler neck tube and tighten the clamp using a flat blade screwdriver. Connect the vent hose at the top of the filler neck and tighten the clamp using a flat blade screwdriver. At the rear of the engine, connect the five electrical connectors and replace the metal bracket. Using a 15mm socket, tighten the two bolts securing the bracket and the fuel filter. Reconnect both batteries using a 5 16 of an inch wrench. To bleed the air from the fuel system, turn the key to the on position and loosen the bleeder knob located on top of the fuel filter to allow the air to escape. Tighten the bleeder once the bubbles stop being careful not to over tighten. Replace the engine cover and secure it using a 10 mm socket. This concludes the installation of fuel lines on a 97 GMC Sierra 2500 with lines to go part number FL397-B for the front and FL400-WD for the rear. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at lines to gocom or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.